Hey YouTube, uh, it's Guns from Twitch, and today's video is more dedicated to those that are starting cryptocurrency or those that want to know how to transfer crypto from Coinbase over to Binance without paying any fees because, let's be honest here, 20 bucks to 50 bucks could actually take you somewhere on an altcoin that is currently running extremely cheap. So I want to teach you guys how to do that. I've had a lot of questions about it. Had a lot of questions about where to store it, how to store it, uh, what's trustworthy, whether it's cloud, desktop, or a uh, cold wallet, kind of like the Ledger Nano S, which I have right here. I, I don't think I'm gonna really get into that this video. I think the next video I might introduce it and show people how to use it because I, I've been tracking Ripple really, really strongly over the past four weeks. So, and I've done really well with it. So uh, today, this video is dedicated to teaching those that need to learn how to do it. And those that don't get confused, I am gonna be blocking out some of my personal information. Nothing too sensitive. Just, I try to keep it as private as possible. That's the point of it being crypto. Welcome to the channel. Back to the video. Here we are, good evening, morning, afternoon, wherever you are. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and get those that want to learn how to get into crypto trading and investing and making some money or losing money because they both go hand in hand with each other. Uh, I'm gonna show you the Coinbase method using Binance, how to transfer Bitcoin and Ethereum with zero transaction fees. For those of you that use Bitcoin, you know that there's a 20, it's a $40 fee. That's not including the fee for using your card if you choose to buy Bitcoin or Ethereum through your card on Coinbase. So we're gonna go ahead and start on Coinbase. As you can see, I'm already signed up. I'm verified. I can buy and sell up to, you know, $10,000 with my bank through Wells Fargo. I can uh, buy more with my card if I wanted, or I can buy like $750 worth with my card if I wanted to. Now, I'm not gonna buy any right now because I really don't need it. I've already got my investments over at Binance right now. Being prepared, I'm prepared to trade or buy if I need to. So, uh, once you get Coinbase set up, which is the fastest method of getting funds, uh, you may start out with a $300 or $750 card limit if you start with a card, and it could take up to two to three days to get your bank account verified. So once you get this set up with Coinbase and you've got all of your accounts set up, there you go, you're good at Coinbase. So the next step you wanna take is we're gonna take a uh, trip over to gdax.com. Uh, gdax.com is an exchange that offers a more detailed look into the currencies that are offered through Coinbase. But the real magic is that gdax doesn't charge a fee on Bitcoin or Ethereum when transferring it to another exchange. All verification that comes through Coinbase that you set up with Coinbase is gonna be carried over to GDAX, but they will ask you to set it up and make sure that you are indeed who you are when importing your Coinbase account. So when we're getting started, uh, we'll get into it later, but we're gonna go ahead and do like a deposit or a withdrawal. That's all you're gonna do. For this case, I'm gonna recommend Ethereum because Ethereum is just, it doesn't risk losing as much as Bitcoin. If Bitcoin's running slow on the transfers through the blockchain, through its network, I've lost 25 bucks on a $200 purchase. It's not cool. So we'll just go ahead and stick this here for now. But now that you have GDAX set up, we're gonna go ahead and take a trip over to Binance. I recommend Binance because they carry a lot of the coins that I've been watching. But not only that, they've been very, very stable. Uh, sometimes when there's a super high output and input on certain coins, like for example, XRP, I've been watching XRP for a while. I've also been trying to make some money on it like everybody else. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you how to send it over to Binance. But once you get everything set up on Binance, when you go into your account, you can see that you have all of it set up. I'm up to level two. You'll start out at level one, but when you set up for the picture verification, it automatically sets you up to level two and you have a withdrawal limit of 100 Bitcoin. 
anything higher than that, you're on a, you're probably not watching this video. So don't worry about that. I use Google Authenticator for everything. If you have any questions about Google Authenticator, uh, you can go ahead and Google it. Uh, you can get it for desktop. It doesn't matter. It's it's right there on the Chrome store. It's I use it on my iPhone. I don't like the idea of someone being able to get it on my computer while they're you know accessing my stuff. So I'll just go ahead and keep that out and not use that. So now that we have Binance done, uh, we're gonna like try and figure out how we're gonna get the money over without paying any fees. That's what the whole point of this video is to save you guys some money on fees. So. As of this video, um, I was I was using Bitcoin, and then up till now, or around like the past couple of days, started using Ethereum. So what we want to do is we'll go over Coinbase. When you buy and sell, you're going to choose what you want to buy. Remember, I said I recommend Ethereum at the time. I'm not giving you any financial advice. I'm just telling you Ethereum is much faster, even though it has 30 confirmations versus the the two on Bitcoin from GDAX to Binance it just seemed much faster with Ethereum. So if we were gonna buy that, we would buy, you know, let's just say we're buying $200. We're gonna buy 0.21 Ethereum. Once we purchase it through a card, you wanna purchase it through a card if you want it instantaneously. Then you move over to GDAX and we would do a deposit. From here, you go into your Coinbase account and you choose your Ethereum wallet. This will show up immediately. The amount, you're gonna have to put the exact amount you see in here and type it right here. So if it's 0 0.25, you know, which is what I got the other day, 0 0.25 Ethereum, you move that over, boom, you deposit it. It's gonna give me an error, insufficient funds. Of course, I don't have any, but let's just say it's there. Now it's done. So we're gonna back off that. Now we're gonna figure out, okay, well, how do we get it over to Binance? You go into Binance, we're gonna go into my deposits and withdrawals. We're gonna scroll down to Ethereum, right here. Make sure you're on Ethereum. It can't be Ethereum Classic or anything else, which it's around here somewhere. I don't see it at the moment, but Ethereum Classic's around here. It's another Ethereum named coin. We're gonna to go to Deposit, and all Ethereum starts with 0x. So, we would copy it, ends in C4D1, but we'll go ahead and copy it. And let's say we wanted to do the withdrawal now at this point. At this point, you want to send it to an Ethereum address. So the destination, I probably already have it in here. I don't know. I'm just going to go ahead and copy it anyways. Yeah, it's already there. So I've already sent it there before. We're going to send it to them. Probably going to hear my phone here shortly. I just want you guys to hear it. It's going to send it to my cell phone. Waiting. There you go. So we'd put in the two-factor authentication withdraw funds now there's going to be this little mysterious area in between where you're like oh no what happened i don't see anything on binance so when we go into binance you can go into like deposits and withdrawals you're gonna be like oh no i don't see anything click on your history and you're gonna look over here and you're gonna no wait for it to pop up here it'll say pending and it'll be written in yellow and it's gonna say out of 30 total so as you see i bought 0.25 ethereum uh, two days ago on the first technically four for some of you when you see this but there you go that's that's it we're just waiting for it to say here. it takes three to five minutes currently with Ethereum there you go no fees from Coinbase to Binance now we need to figure out what do we want to buy so we can go over to the exchange I have some favorites uh, as you can see I like XRP. I currently watch it a lot. You can go over to XVG. You can go to you know XLM if you want to get lumens. If you want to get involved, uh, you can do mana. If you want to buy you know virtual land and you're into squirrels and, and Harry Potter lifestyle stuff for the online world, it's really weird, but it's actually kind of a cool coin. Um, hell, you can even go to back to Tron if you want to look into that. So. No more advice from here. My only recommendation is take yourself over here to ledgerwallet.com. Consider getting yourself a cold wallet. Cold means hardware. It's separate from, you know, like me, I personally won't leave everything in here. I have, you know, $2,266 worth of stuff sitting around. I don't want to leave that there. I don't want it to get stolen. So I would send my Ripple 
over to my ledger wallet, which is right here. And then I would unlock it. Here we go. Put in my pin on my ledger. You're not gonna see anything in there. Now, also another thing is make sure you are aware that some wallets or some currencies, such as Ripple, will require you to have a balance of 20. You can't ever touch that. That 20 right here, I can't touch it. But I can come in here and we can do, you know, a deposit. I'd copy this right here. Go over here, withdraw out of Binance. Uh, I have it on here, right there. I could withdraw with no tag. Sometimes there's a tag requirement. Click max, boom, send it over to my wallet. Next thing you know, there's no nothing left on Binance whatsoever. So, at this point, uh, we are going to call it for that one. That's it for the video. If you guys have any other questions, Please feel free to hit me up on twitch.tv slash guns, G-U-N-Z. Or you can find me on Twitter at gunnywrx, G-U-N-N-Y, W-R-X. Thank you guys for watching. Sorry the video couldn't have been any shorter. I hope you guys enjoy. Guns out.